Hey guys, Alex here from Workshop 12. I wanted to show you a quick little video on how to connect the OBD2 scanner to our Workshop 12 unit. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in the car and walk you through on the installation. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is locate your OBD2 uh, port. And most cars, 100% of the time, will be underneath uh, your driver's side here. I have already connected it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the unit to the vehicle's, uh, sorry, to the OBD2's Bluetooth. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is scroll down, press on Bluetooth. You're gonna go to the paper clip here, external devices, pair new device, and OBD2. If it asks for a password, one, two, three, four, if one, two, three, four doesn't work, do one, uh, zero, zero, zero. But I'm um, pretty sure it's one, two, three, four, guys. <laughs> okay, done, paired. Next, you're gonna go ahead and go to the Google Play Store. And we don't see the Google Play Store on the home screen here, so we're just gonna quickly add it here. And we're gonna go to the Play Store, go to the search bar, type in OBD2, and you're gonna download uh, this is the one that we recommend guys at the end of the day you can download whichever one you want the reason I like this one it has the less ads and if you're not paying for an app you guys know ads can be a little annoying so we're going gonna go ahead and install it <laughs> okay so now that it's installed guys you're gonna just simply click open and now you got to remember guys we already connected it via Bluetooth now on here it's gonna tell you to select your language you can just put English or whatever language it is and then you're gonna go next. Now keep in mind, this is the only, you only have to do this once uh, when you first uh, download the app. So you're gonna go, yes, I agree. You're gonna go next, next. So here we're gonna do metric. We're gonna do um, kilometers, liters, because of course we're in Canada, but we're gonna do PSI because nobody likes KPA anyways. Um, then we're gonna go Celsius, you guys would set it up to what you want here um, then you're gonna go here select GMC all right guys so then now you're gonna just go and select if you have a diesel or Duramax we would select obviously the, the one for you if you don't see your vehicle here just select the standard one don't worry it will work and then just click OK and now you're gonna click here gas yes next Okay, and now that this is done, you're gonna click connect, app permissions, permissions. So once you guys click on permissions, you're gonna go lo location, allow while using the app, press the back button, and then you're gonna go um, nearby devices, allow, that way it can detect that uh, USB, uh, OBD, and then you're gonna press the back button, back button, and then now you got a check mark, that means we're good. You're gonna click next, and we're gonna connect this via Bluetooth, so next. Okay. Once that's done, this is how it's gonna be. So once the initial setup is done, all you need to do is get in the car, click connect, it is gonna to connect to your vehicle, and you're done. Okay, it's saying to allow notifications, we'll click allow. Okay, you got three things I'm gonna show you here. The rest, I'm gonna let you guys explore it for yourself. Number one, dashboard. Okay. Your dashboard here will give you your RPMs, uh, your coolant temp. Um, so when you accelerate the vehicle, you'll see your RPMs go up. You'll see your speed here and you can change those gauges if you'd like. Um, then you would click on the back here, your live data. Let's say we would do combine uh, because this is the free app, it allows you to only select two. So if you want fuel pressure and engine RPM, uh, we'll click next. And here it's gonna tell you the red line is your fuel pressure and the green line is your engine RPM. So if, again, if we accelerate, you'll see that it, it will spike up uh, for the green line. And then obviously, yeah, the fuel pressure is there. Um, now you'll go back. And the whole reason why you want this in the first place is most likely to troubleshoot uh, your coats. So you have an engine light here um, on this vehicle here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click troubleshoot um, trouble codes and the cool thing about this is it will tell you every single thing it's gonna scan on here so we're gonna go and click read and if you're um, obviously you're gonna be connected to Wi-Fi or if you have a sim card connected to the unit uh, once it's done reading all of these codes 
it's going to tell you what the code is and if you want to if you have no idea what this means you would click on it then it will open up google uh, chrome and it will tell you what that code is for your particular vehicle and then you can go ahead and clear it um, sometimes guys you're going to find that after you uh, scan your vehicle and you don't have an engine code it might appear that you have some codes don't be alarmed um, your car's not broken that just means that uh, you probably have um, historic codes or you have pending codes that are maybe not very alarming uh, to throw an engine light um, but it's just kind of letting you know hey maybe keep an eye on that um, so this is a really cool thing keep in mind guys let's be honest it's a $12 device okay um, this is not going to tune your system it's not going to uh, uh, you know give you uh, change you know modifications in terms of your lights or whatever like there's some other more sophisticated OBD2 scanners for the price for what it does this is literally the best bang for your buck um, so here you can see it tells you what the code is um, so we'll go ahead and let's say we want to click on it to understand what it is it will tell you right here what it is and of course thanks to Gemini and Google AI here it'll tell you exactly uh, some more about what this issue is um, and then if you're not sure what uh, you, you don't want to clear it then I would recommend to take a screenshot of this um, um, and then you know you can send it to your mechanic or you can just clear it and um, see if it comes back after so if you guys want to clear the um, engine code uh, very simple click clear and you're gonna click uh, clear only yep um, and okay and it's clearing it let's see boom engine code is gone not sure if you guys saw it on there but it, take my word if you don't believe me it is gone um, and then now you're good and then you can always run the the test again uh, to see if it comes back or if the engine light comes back again you'll be able to keep an eye on it uh, there you guys have it okay if you guys have any questions you know where to reach me uh, my name is Alex uh, from workshop 12 and it's always a pleasure to assist you um, if you guys want other videos or more in-depth things on what this app does let me know I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys didn't want to get into the nitty-gritty of everything here um, but yeah there you have it peace Thank you.